Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Avocado Insider series. It's your host, Harshit Godha. In this episode, we continue our discussion with NetFM Israel and we talk about flowering and pollination in avocados. It is a very important topic. You need to watch this video. Before we proceed to our discussion with NetFM, there are a few things that you need to understand about the avocado plant and the avocado flower. There are two kinds of avocado varieties. There's type A and then there's type B. And in any commercial avocado orchard, you need to plant both type A and type B. Now you're probably wondering what's the difference between the two. You see, avocado flowers are hermaphrodite. It means it has both male and female flower in the same plant. But it does not self-pollinate. And I'll tell you why. In type A avocados, like Haas, Pinkerton, Reed, the female flower opens in the morning and the male flower opens in the afternoon but it's the opposite in type b in type b the male flower open in the morning and the female flower opens in the afternoon that's why for male and female to cross pollinate you need both type a and type b in a particular avocado orchard now for type b i have etinga that's what they use in israel uh, in Australia, they use uh, Shepherd and in South Africa, they use Fuerte. I hope my explanation made it clear that uh, why you need both type A and type B in a particular orchard. Now let's proceed to the presentation and if you have any questions about commercial avocado farming, post it in the comment section down below and I'll answer those questions. Or if I don't know the answer, I'll ask the experts and get back to you. Flowering and pollination, um, forgetting uh, developing flower buds, you need a period of low temperature under 20 degrees. You need balance between leaves and yield. Tree in good condition, it needs light, irrigation, good fertilizers, uh, and oxygen. Flower buds start to develop in the autumn when the temperature are falling down and they should follow in the springtime, depends on the climate. If you have enough low temperature, it will all flower together. But if you don't have enough low temperature, you'll have longer uh, wave of flowering. Uh, you need also a pollinator variety for avocado. To get better yield, you should plant not only Haas or Maluma or anyone, but you should uh, plant another variety. Um, and this is very important to get better yield. Uh, the distance between the cultivars must be minimal. The overlap between cultivars flowering because they some of them flowering early, some of them flowering late, so it must be good. Uh, and we need pollinators like honeybees to improve the yields. I hope you found the discussion interesting and uh, thank you for watching. If you like my content, then please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way, whenever I post something new, you'll be automatically notified. See you.